Okay, this is the video tutorial for manually updating Punkbuster. Everyone's going to have to do this at some point. Uh, PB is a very bad program, but pretty much essential if you want to play online. Uh, just go to your web browser. I'm using Mozilla. Um, go to punkbuster.com and we're at punkbuster.com uh, lists the supported games uh, I'm going to do Call of Duty 4 but it's the same for all of these just click on the game and click on the download uh, you can download just the file for that game and place it in the folder uh, it gives you instructions on how to do this um, I've always been a, a fan of PB setup rather than doing it that way. And to use that, it's at the top of the page, and you just click on the PB setup, and it will take you to that page. Uh, it gives you a big description of what it does and how it does it. There's full instructions on how to use it on the page. Uh, you just need to get the one for your operating system. There's Windows, Linux, and Mac there. So on um, Windows, you just click it, uh, click Save, and it will put it onto your computer. I've already done it, thus it's just added another one. But I can delete that one. So uh, let's just close the web page. The first time you run it, it gives you the annoying little message saying this is the first time you run it. So it will just do this little scan. And give you the disclaimer. Just click I agree and it will open up the actual PB setup. Um, click and add on add a game and there's a drop down menu with all the supported games you just click on the one you're wanting to update I'm doing Call of Duty 4 check the file path is right you know some people change their hard drive letter um, mine's C and that file path is correct you can just browse and find the one that you need click OK and you see it'll add the game just highlight the game and click check for updates and it will scan for any updates if you need them uh, it should be really quick and there you go it's done it says all available updates that have been applied just click OK and you've updated Punkbuster it'll add these annoying URLs to your wherever you had it like on my desktop um, these just remember what it's done so you can delete these you know, it will just be as if you've downloaded it for the first time so I'll delete those and um, uh, and you're good to go